Hey y'all, it's Zoe and welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I'm about to pack to go to California for a week. Um, in case you don't know, my sister goes to school at UC San Diego. So I'm going to spend the week with her and also go see a musical. Um, that was kind of the motivation just because like um, as much as I love my sister, I did see her recently for graduation and she's also coming home in about two or three weeks. But there is a musical, so I'm going with her to the musical and then I'm going to spend some time in LA and California. So right now i'm about to pack i am packing the really big suitcase and that's only because i'm bringing some stuff back home with me i'm not planning to bring a lot just like an outfit a day and like one to two pairs of shoes that i can wear consistently and then um toiletries and things like that that are gonna go in my backpack so yeah let's get to packing <music> everything i need i didn't end up packing any extra outfits because my thought is i can always buy a new outfit if i need it or like i can borrow my sister's clothes if anything happens so my suitcase is packed my backpack is packed the only thing i need left to put in there is all the toiletry items that i'm using tonight and tomorrow morning and then we leave early tomorrow morning um so i don't know how much i'll film in the airport I guess we'll find out but yeah we're we're getting there i'm gonna go take a shower and then i'll just come back on tomorrow when i'm traveling y'all so i'm at the airport i don't know if you can hear me but um i woke up this morning to messages saying that my flight got delayed so i kind of just stayed in bed for like an extra hour or two and then i finally got out i got dressed i got ready to go finished putting my like late night early morning toiletries away um then my mom and i got gas we got something to eat and now i'm just sitting up. bombastic side eye um and i'm just waiting for it just partner i'm sitting on the floor because there are two flights leaving before me so all the seats are filled but they leave in like the next hour or so so then i can get a seat before my flight so hey guys sorry i just finished crying a little bit um so after my plane got delayed it got delayed some more goodness okay well so you saw that clip and i was definitely getting back from crying because basically so after my two flights got delayed i got there today and it got delayed even more because the flight to mexico was delayed and then since the mexico plane didn't pull out the plane we were getting on couldn't pull in so then once that pulled in they had to unload clean then they loaded us on and then we had to wait for fuel so we literally didn't take off until like really late i missed my first bus then i missed my second bus and then my third bus just got canceled so now i'm taking an uber to los angeles which isn't fun it's definitely not as cheap as taking the bus but it is what it is so while i was waiting for the bus across the street is this place called old town san diego it's very western based western looking um it's actually really nice lots of kids people here uh, i went to a mexican restaurant and there was this person that was singing there um and it was really pretty to hear one thing i am kind of like shocked but also happy about is the amount of diversity here there's so many asian people there's a lot of latinx people here so it's just it's kind of nice but yeah now i'm gonna get in my uber and finally make it to la it's been a heck of a day i cannot believe all of this is happening all just to come see maybe this was my sign this was this was a sign the universe is telling me there's a bug on me. I always hate vlogging when there are people here. Like that side eye in the airport. But anyways, 
the universe is trying to tell me something. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. You're not going to see this video until like a week or two after I'm back from my trip. You can comment down below what you think the universe is trying to tell me today. Hey y'all, so I finally made it to LA. Yay, I'm at the hotel now. I fell asleep in the Uber, which was fun, but I really did appreciate the guy driving so far because we were coming from San Diego. So literally two hours, so definitely gonna tip him extra for that. Um, it was fine. I fell asleep. It was I took some pictures of the scenery. It was nice um, But now I'm just gonna chill the rest of the night and Go to sleep soon, but not too soon because I want to wait for my sister to get back from the concert um, Also, one thing I forgot to mention is at the restaurant that I was eating at I, I think I mentioned that I ate dinner at like the old town place, but in case I didn't I ate dinner there at a Mexican restaurant and there was this person there that was like working and she was like taking pictures of everyone but she was only taking pictures of people that had parties of two or more she like walked by me like five times and i was like is there something unpicture worthy of someone sitting by themselves at a restaurant like it's not as fun as with other people obviously but like it's nothing to be ashamed about like why are like even i would have preferred to just even be asked to have my picture taken rather than just like passed a bunch of times i was like it was really weird because it was like she was going up to almost every single table except me who was sitting by myself and then i saw this other person sitting by themselves too and i don't know if like they were asked for a picture either or what but i was kind of like you know there's no shame in eating by yourself and i think that's picture worthy too but anyways i'm gonna go lay on this really comfortable bed and there by the way three people have to sleep in this bed tonight three um and then we're gonna go to the musical tomorrow and then we have to get on the bus that keeps canceling so hopefully we make it back to san diego all right so i definitely thought i would come on but i didn't have time to do that so instead i am voicing over everything so we made it to la and um we saw six of the musical and it was so amazing highly recommend um i've been obsessed with this musical and i'm so glad i got to see it in person we also had like a deaf friendly version so we had these two wonderful people doing ASL. um and then we got to explore a little bit of the ucla campus and we went um and we did some shopping i got to see some of their dining halls and they're so big and so fancy like my small private liberal arts college was not used to having so many options and then we did finally make it back and maya had some work to do but that was it for that day then the next day i got to see a little bit of ucsd campus in san diego um it is very pretty there i do like it i can see why maya likes it too um and we went with to with her friends to something called the UTC, which is a mall. So this is us walking through the campus um, on our way to the metro station, the little like train station. The one thing I was not used to was having to walk everywhere and not making it to where you need to be. Um, Cause at Worcester, everything is so small and so close together that you really can get anywhere in five minutes um, like five or ten minutes, but no, she lives so far away from literally everything. But this is us on the little metro station. The doors are so cool. You have to like press a button to open it. Um, but we got to the mall. It's It was very nice inside. Um, it had a lot of little shops. They had it first to something called the Capital One Cafe, which gives discounts for Capital One customers. And it partners with Pete's Coffee, which I think is a California thing, um, because a lot of them have had work that they needed to do um, so they kind of set up a place there I did some things while I was there as well and then my sister and I took a little shopping break um, and we bought some cute things we each got this we each got the same tote bag um, went to the Lego store which was really cool and went to some other stores as well and then we are pretty much done for the day so we headed back to her campus this is a video of the bus because i just think it's so cool or like the subway you have to press the button for the doors to open on the outside and the inside which i think is really really cool so we ordered dinner sorry i'm upside down <laughs> and then um 
we went to one of the marketplaces on campus and picked up some snacks um and i think that was it for this day but i'm not sure oh okay we did order food oh wait this was the next day i'm so sorry so the next day we um ordered food from the market we picked it up um and then she has a target on campus which i think is so cool and we went to the target um and then after that we were supposed to get I'm pretty sure this was the day where we were supposed to leave earlier, but then she ended up like oversleeping and so we didn't end up leaving until really late. But we wanted to go to Balboa Park, um, which is a park in San Diego. It has some cute like restaurants and shops and stuff like that. And we ended up going to a museum. We went to a natural history museum, so that's a really cool pendulum. I thought we would stay long enough to see it knock something over but we definitely did not stay long enough for that um we managed to get to the museums like 90 minutes before they closed so Maya and I did like 45 minutes in this museum and about 45 minutes in a second museum um but uh the museums were really cool outside the museums were really cool as well it was very nice weather I actually really like the California weather this man was a man not a statue but these little kids got really scared because he moved um but yes he was just pretending to be a statue um and then we went to a museum like the comic museum some kind of comic museum that had a bunch of like cartoons and like Funko Pop figures and this we like were able to do stop motion animation and draw a ball bouncing which was pretty cool. This is Maya's video I think. Um, there's some extra drawings on there. And then uh, this was the little Pac-Man exhibit which was pretty cool um, and we got to see some of the like past cover art um, and then we went to Little Italy and had dinner in Little Italy and it was really pretty. The one thing I wasn't expecting is everyone to have like an Italian accent and speak Italian. I don't know why I just wasn't expecting that and then when we got home we attempted to make these little like soup dumplings that she had in her freezer for forever but we definitely could not figure out how to do it um, and they were also like all frozen together so then when they like got cooked they all kind of just meshed together and formed one giant soup dumpling so it definitely was a fail but you know we cleaned out her fridge which is the most important part um so that was pretty much it for what was that like day two i think day three honestly at this point i'm losing track all right so the next day we went to la jolla shores or la jolla cove one of the two I don't really remember because they're both kind of similar um, and we grabbed brunch together and then I wanted to go down to the beach because San Diego beach and if I didn't go to the beach on this trip I would have been very upset. So I went to the beach and we found the this really cool pier um, and apparently it's a very popular photo spot like we saw someone taking graduation photos there so we got a few pictures there as well and I wanted to find this really big swing. So we found this one. I don't think it was the one that I was originally thinking of but it was still a really cool swing um, and it was it had like a really nice view of San Diego and the swing was right next to the aquarium so we thought while we were up there while we made that trek all the way might as well go see the aquarium the penguins were so adorable literally so cute I can't with them um but there were a lot of cool other animals in the aquarium as well lots of fish and tiny little sea creatures and sea life and whatnot and then there were a few opportunities where you can touch the animals maya has always been a lot more brave than i am so this is a video where she is letting shrimp clean under her fingernails so if you saw like victorious growing up i don't know if you remember the fish that eat dead skin so these shrimp just like do do it at the bottom like in between your fingernails and they just clean out your fingernails um i was too scared to 
let that happen. So I didn't do that. Um, there's some really big fish, some stingrays. Um, I think there were a few sharks. Uh, I don't really remember though. Oh, yep, there's a shark. Um, so that was pretty cool. And you can see my reflection. <laughs> And so we just kept looking around the aquarium. So I'm going to stop talking until something interesting happens. Oh, okay. So this fish, it's so big. And like, look at it. It's just like death stare. Um, and then this is an octopus. Definitely lots of little tentacles. That's how it moves around. Um, what else did we see at the aquarium? Uh, oh, this fish I thought was giving us a bombastic side eye. Like, look at that. Tell me I'm wrong. Um, these were some jellyfish, uh, which was really cool because they glow. And there's actually research that uses the, like, something, it's like GHP or something, GFP, that's in jellyfish. And they've used it in, like, medicine, which I think is really cool. Um, and then we saw these other fishes. Also, I'm sorry the other clip wasn't flipped. I thought I had flipped that clip, but it's too late now. Um, here's a little dory fish. Have you ever seen Finding Nemo? And then we went to some other places where Maya got to touch sea slug. I tried touching a sea slug and freaked out. I hated touching it. Did not like that. Um, and then she wanted to touch a crab. So this is like giving a crab a high five, um, which was kind of cool. <laughs> um, and here she goes again. I think she's touching a an anemone or a an anemone. An you know the an anemone. That's it, anemone. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so here's her touching some more things. This is a little starfish. Um, this little section was all for the petting, and then she wanted to pet. I don't know what that is. Some other kind of shark, maybe. Um, and then this is where she wanted me to touch the sea slug. And I said, okay. And then I freaked out after one second. And then before we left, we went back to the penguins because they're literally so cute. How could we not see them one more time before we leave? I mean, look at them. They're like, they're so small. They're so cute. I could literally watch them all day. All right. So I think that covered it for that day. So the next day I met up with a high school friend and we got brunch and then we went into this Life is Good store and I bought a t-shirt. This was at La Jolla Shores, I believe. So I think the previous one was, oh wait, no, this was the Cove. And then we went to the Shores when we went to the aquarium and we saw a bunch of seals and sea lions. I didn't realize how loud they are. Um, they really do get really loud and I also did a lot of research to tell the difference between seals and sea lions. Most of what you see are sea lions because they were the loud ones. The seals are actually very quiet and there's also a difference among the uh, shape of the ears, the fur and skin and whatnot. Like, Just imagine hearing that. I'm sparing you all of hearing the loud sea lions. Um, but yes, and you can see they were all literally just bathing and basking. That was a really, really giant one. I think that is a seal. I think. I don't remember. So like you can usually tell by the ears. I can't really see the ears, so I don't remember. But it's definitely a big one. Um, usually if they're louder, they're sea lions. Because seals don't really make noise. Um, but definitely like... We weren't sure if that was maybe like the leader or maybe the one that breeds the female. We weren't really sure. Okay, and then this mom is giving birth. We literally watched her giving birth. If you can see behind her, there is a little baby coming out. And also, if you look in the bottom right corner, there's another baby sea lion. And it's just so cute. Um, but she was in so much pain. I didn't realize how much pain and agony... A sea lion could sound in labor but it makes sense because humans also sound like they're in pain when they're in labor so i edited down this clip you might see a little blood so here's your trigger warning i'll also put it on the screen um but she was in ag in pain for a very very long time but luckily she birthed her little sea lion cub and it was 
mother nature at its finest um and then we saw these birds that kept vibrating we didn't know what that was about and the cave you saw was a little cute picture spot and then after that maya had a little dance showcase thing with one of her dance teams and it was a combination of her dance team and other dance teams and they have this thing where they perform in parking garages and i don't know if that has to do with maybe like the amount of studio space that's available or the number of dance teams the number of people i'm not really sure but this was maya's dance there she is doing her little body rolls um but all of their performances are in parking garages they practice in parking garages she did a performance in the fall called uh cat off or something like that um which was like the korean american dance team and they did stuff in parking garages but her team was really cool it's like a hip-hop team and she loves hip hop now um i think she's also in a contemporary dance team as well but i wasn't there to see that performance so i only have the footage of her dancing um i just realized that there might be copyright so i i guess it's a good thing that i'm voiceovering but i know you're probably all tired of hearing my voice i promise you the video is almost over because this was my last night in san diego um but it was really cool watching her perform um and now she's been looking for hip hop classes for when she comes back home, which to me, honestly, if I was in school for as long as her, I would have checked out by now. Like, I don't know how to this day, the video is going up and she is still in school. Like she gets out the week that this video goes up. I would have checked out of school so or much sooner. Like I literally, I don't know how they managed to do it. Anyways, so these were some clips from her dance team. And then after her dance team finished, there were two other performances after and her friends were in both of them. And then I went out with her and her friends to some kind of late night meal option thing and I got some Asian food. Um, and then it was my last day. So before we left, it was National Donut Day and Krispy Kreme was having a promotion where you can get... Um, like one free donut and then you also get like discounts on dozen donuts so my sister and i wanted to go before i went to, to the airport so we got to see how they make the donuts i did go during uh when they were having the graduation promotion we got a free dozen for graduating and honestly the people here waste a lot less dough than the people back home which i guess is a good thing um but you can see that little white thing that's icing that's all icing it just endlessly falls and then i took an uber to the airport and got on my plane back home overall it was a really good trip um definitely really fun lots to see hopefully i can go back and visit her someday but i hope you enjoyed watching this there are some more photos on my travel instagram which is linked in the description and the full seal sea lion birth is on my tiktok so i'll see you next time thanks for watching bye